Hey, hey, Redeemer, wanted to share with you a devotion for today here. Um, and uh, today I'm going to actually concentrate on a passage we normally get a week or two after Easter normally, and, and it's the story of Doubting Thomas here. So, from John chapter 20. Now Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands, and put my finger where the nails were, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe it. A week later, his disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. And then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Now, you may find this as an odd thing to talk about here for a devotion time frame for you, but today as I'm reading this, it, it strikes me how I think we've all been a little bit of a doubting Thomas, in particular lately. Seeing what God has been up to in, in our vernacular, in, in Redeemer terms, we've, we've called that a God setting. And, and it's one of those things where, where we use that in, in many conversations. I've been talking about it all week as we're doing recordings for VBS that are going to be posted here next week. And it's so cool to be able to um, share that with children. But how often as adults do we just completely, just completely miss what God is up to right in our midst. We are that, in a sense, that doubting Thomas. Like, no, nah, I'm not going to, I don't believe it. I don't believe that God is moving in this way um, because we're not looking for him. We're not looking for the ways Jesus is moving. In particular, during this pandemic, it's been easy for us to turn to our own interest. It's been easy for us to... Um, just dismiss that God could be moving in some awesome ways through all of this. We long for the things that we had and and simply wish that it would just go back to, to normal, whatever normal is. I think the disciples at this point probably would have been in the same boat. Thomas sure was. He didn't believe it. He was sad Jesus wasn't there. He just wanted it to go back to the way it was before those pesky Romans got Jesus and executed him. But it was a whole new world for them. And instead, Thomas started his missionary life after this point, where the church became the church. And Thomas, as one of the twelve, was, it a, was a missionary and disciple that, that went out and shared the good news. And I want you guys to remember this last bit. I didn't read the last two um, verses kind of of this section here. Um, and it's one I think that, you know, is good for us to, to hear too. Jesus did many other miraculous signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not recorded in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and by believing you may have life in his name. That is what scripture has been given to us for. To not be that doubting Thomas and, and go around and not see the work God is up to because we can know the work God is up to in our lives and we can know the work that God has been up to in the life of Jesus and what that means for us. So I hope that this blesses your day and that you're able to go and, and share God's sighting with a friend, with a family, with our church. We'd happily hear and see those um, and I hope our VBS kids are able to do that this next week as well. So um, would you guys please pray with me? Let's pray. Uh, Lord Jesus, help us to see you moving and active in this world. And Lord, help us to see um, in our own lives uh, that your word is, is active and moving and can change us. Lord, help us to see you and exclaim, just like Thomas, my Lord and my God, in your name. Amen. All right, guys. Have a good one. We'll catch you later.